I'm breaking free. <laughs> oh, terrible excuse for trying to be High School Musical. Hi, my name's Tiffany, and this summer I'll be working and living in Blind Channel, a remote community on West Thurlow Island, complete with a marina, store, restaurant, and more. Come along and join the adventure. Okay, so it's 11.30. We are dead dead. The only people staying here on property are out on a tour, and so my boss told me to just leave. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing. I am just leaving. <laughs> it's like I'll keep a radio on and um, I might go for a walk. I don't know. Just gotta make sure that this is also locked. We are good. And I'm gonna go up to the house, drop my stuff, and then kind of see. I still don't know if I'm leaving tomorrow or if I'm leaving the next day, <laughs> but I'm like, I'm not working tomorrow if I'm leaving the next day because there's no point. Also, today's the last day of payroll. So it makes sense. Apparently I'm still getting paid for today, <laughs> even though I'm literally doing nothing. I did a little bit of work this morning, checked the short dates in the store and stuff, but now we're just, we're bored. I was gonna sweep, but it's just to do something. So yeah, early day perhaps, but I will go do a little bit of work later, like cleaning the laundry suite and stuff. But for now, maybe an early lunch, maybe a walk up to the tree. I don't know, anything is possible. The road ahead, it twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep Keep on pushing through Cause I get up And I may fall right back down But your love lifts me back to solid ground Yeah, I get up
home again, home again, lickety split. I am back at the house. My breakfast buddy like cleaned everything. It's phenomenal, it's amazing. And I didn't have to do it, which was even better because for the last like two months, it's been me and the dog tenant that I've been doing most of the cleanings. So that's, that's not great. Um, so before we were spite cleaning and now we're spite not cleaning. And so it's nice that somebody else is picking it up, which is fantastic. I'm making myself some lunch now. It is currently just after 1.30. A boat radioed in just as we were coming to the end of the trail. And they're gonna be here in like an hour or so. They'll actually be perfect because I can cook, I can eat, and I can go down and open up the store for when they come in to check in. And then I can take out the garbage in the store even though it doesn't really need to come out, but I figure it doesn't hurt. And then do the recycling. And then at some point do the laundry. Uh, building so you know a couple things to do which is nice but it'll probably be a lot of hanging out and not doing much because honestly I don't need to go down to the store until I hear them radio in but even still I can wait like probably another five to ten minutes after that so should be good but that's where we're at I still need to pack today but I don't know if I'm going today or tomorrow or the next day tomorrow is kind of busy on water taxis again so Boat is fixed. I can't remember if I mentioned that. Boat is fixed. So we're back up with the four boats. It was just like a gearbox issue. Um, so that's fixed. Well, I mean, it got replaced and the, the broken one has to get fixed. But anyways, that's besides the point. So if I'm still here tomorrow, I'm just gonna sleep. Oh my God, I'm gonna sleep in. I am going to sleep in. Oh my God. It'd be amazing. And then just do nothing. Because today's the last day of the pay period too, which I know doesn't really make a difference but especially because I'm coming back in like a week and might do some working but oh is that what was that hello <laughs> anyways um but oh, that's a boat that we weren't sure if it was coming in or not go ahead for blind channel yeah we're right out front mm. and uh, we made some reservations and just wondering uh, which slip we should pull into they they made dinner reservations. They didn't make boat uh, reservations. I'll be down there in just a minute. You can pretty much pick a spot. Thank you. Anyways, that's not the boat that radioed in. So that one we weren't sure about. Anyways, maybe I should go down. Ugh, I don't think I need to go down. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> now I'm conflicted. No, I should eat because I'm really quite hungry. Right? Yeah, anyway, so I don't know if I'm leaving tomorrow. It looks like it's more likely to be Saturday, um, which is fine, and I'm just not gonna do anything tomorrow. Wow, brain, it's not doing the best. Okay, food, I need food, I think I need food. Chaos. So, it's Friday and I'm still here, and what's more, I have to work today, so I had to unpack to find clothes. I'm wearing sweatpants, I don't care. They're cute sweatpants, though, they like. Ooh, you can't see them at all. Anyways, so I'm working a couple hours today, at least in the morning. Who knows what else, but now I need to repack entirely because like that tote was like full and ready to go. And now I have these two bags that I had open because one had socks and one had shirts. So that's a little annoying, but it is what it is. I'm just getting ready for work. It is currently a time. Oh, 8.37. I was hitting the desk in hopes that my watch would light up so it's 8 37 i'm pretty much ready to go i just have to pack my laptop and my bag and then back down to work all right it's almost noon i'm packing up again and uh, i'm gonna go home and shower because i am disgusting and then um i don't know pack obviously um uh, maybe do some laundry don't really need to but maybe and um yeah. Just like take two on departure, I guess. Hello, hello. It is so much later. It's like 20 to 5. I've <laughs> not done much. I've been wandering around being pretty useless. And um, I feel like my room's very echoey because there's nothing going on. So I've repacked two of the bags. Well, I mean, technically I repacked one of the bags and then I stuck them back in there. And I still have this bag here that I need to repack. But before I do that, I have to pull out clothes for tomorrow when I am leaving at eight-ish. So we've got a time, so that's exciting. Um, and then I can start to finish packing 
I can start to finish packing. I can finish packing. Um, so I need to pull out like some socks and probably a shirt and socks and all that fun stuff to wear. So I think I'm going to try to get this one reloaded up with as much as I can. I've got a bunch of dirty clothes now is the only thing, but I'm sure it's fine. And then um, get that one suctioned and put everything in there, stuff everything back in there and then kind of see where we are space-wise. I still do have another vacuum bag that fits well in my backpack. Um, and then I have like just all the random stuff in the room over there. So that's where we're at. Strudel's doing something over there. Just, I don't know. Whoa. I don't know where she is, but she is somewhere over. I'm not sure where she is. Apparently she's running and doing stuff she's not supposed to. Anyways, yeah, so puttering, packing. I'm gonna go do the cash out later when the store is closed, but for now, I think I'm just gonna putter and vibe and all that. My, that's my thing of the summer is just like, I'm just vibing. <laughs> Anyways, that's where we're at. Very exciting. I guess I'm just really tired, so early night, I think. Alrighty, it is a beautiful rainy day, of course, of course. And um, we are all packed. Bed is unmade. Had to pull my rain jacket out because of the weather. And it's currently 7.05. We're leaving at 7.30, so probably in about five minutes, I'm gonna go get the golf cart and um, start dealing with this. Woohoo! Also, good morning. Good morning, I'm here. And with that, I am back home. Um, I didn't get any footage on the way back in because it was pouring rain. There were six of us in a strudel um, <laughs> making our way from uh, Blind Channel to Rock Bay and then getting into different vehicles and stuff. And yeah, it was a lot, but I am home now. It is 9.35 in the morning. I am so hungry. I need to go find something to snack on. Um, before I go get my McDonald's fries, which I have been desperately craving. But I also have, um, just seeing that my fan is on and it really shouldn't be on. Is that off now? Okay. Um, <laughs> I have things that came in the mail that I should open. One, two, three, something rather. So maybe I should like plug in the lights again I don't know what happened to my voice there, and then we'll see what we got, because honestly, I don't really remember what I ordered. Alrighty, so in order to have better lighting than this, I would have to unpack my surge protector, but I am lazy. So this is what we have. It's not great, but it'll do. Oh, I honestly don't know what I got, but I got a lot of it from Amazon, apparently. Ah, this, this good. It's a dinosaur therapy book. So I followed this comic on um, Instagram. I think it's called uh, Dinos and Comics. And it is the cutest thing ever. It's just every time I see them, I want to share them with people. Like, look at this one. An egg hatching. It goes, well, this was a mistake. I can relate to that. <laughs> so I really liked it. And I saw that they were making a... Uh, book and I was like must have so I ordered it <laughs> aha this book is called the inlet it is a memoir of a modern pioneer written by Helen Piddington so blind channel is like you know <laughs> I'll just pull up a map so blind channel is here and then is it this way yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Lockborough. And that's Sydney Bay. Oh God, what are you doing? That's Sydney Bay. Right there. That is where Helen and her husband Dane moved to, when, like in, I don't remember when, 70s or something, and uh, built a life there. And so I've always wanted to read this book because I know Dane, I never met Helen. Um, she doesn't come into Blind Channel, but I thought it'd be an interesting book to get. It was a very expensive book, but hopefully worth it. I'm now remembering that I ordered another book at some point. This is not it. <laughs> mm, I got a basic tool set for a cricket. 
you can probably guess something that's going to appear. <laughs> Ah, here's the other book that I ordered. It's called Totem Poles and Tea. Um, a boater recommended it to me. It's about a nurse slash teacher who moved up to Alert Bay and then up to um, Mamali Lakula, um, one of the tiny villages there and at like 1930s. So like, you know, quite early on. She says it's really good. I'm a little concerned because there's missionaries and stuff involved, but we will see. Next, I have some white Cricut vinyl and this um, transfer tape. Again, we can probably guess something that is coming. And it's, um, it's actually in this box here. <laughs> I got myself the um, Cricut Explore Air 2 uh, because why not? Eh. This is probably not going to work great one-handed. Oh, maybe. Oh my goodness. Ooh, pretty. Top of a box. <laughs> okay, give me a sec. All right. Hello. Here it is. Minty. Um, <laughs> this was on a really good sale. It was under $200, and I've always wanted to play with one of these. My grandma gave me her old one, like I mentioned, like a couple months ago, but... Hers is like the first generation and so you can only do what it can do with cartridges and I think it only does paper And so I saw that for a good deal. I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. And then last But maybe not least because I'm sure there's still some stuff coming at some point I got I got these <laughs> um, I decided I wanted to try to crochet really adorable whales mostly so I don't know how to crochet, so I figured buying a beginner's crochet kit would be a good thing. So this is a whale, and it comes with a, a crochet needle. Is that what it's called? And then this one is a red panda. And then this one, I think, is a seal. Anyways, very exciting. I'm going to try that, because if I can make these tiny little whales, I bet you I could sell them in Blind Channel. But, okay. That's the unpacking or unboxing of all the stuff I ordered in the last, I think I was pretty good. I didn't order like crazy. And now I'm gonna go find a snack before, until I can get some real food. <laughs> the chaos in my room has become far more pronounced. It's like on the chair, the bed's a disaster now. Um, yeah, so things happened. <laughs> I went and I got my McDonald's fries, which is what I really wanted, but now I feel really gross because after not eating <laughs> takeout or like fast food for a very long time, ugh, not ideal. It wasn't even the greatest. <laughs> um, then I voted, advanced polling station, so yay. Good job me, because as we know, I'm gonna be on Blind Channel doing the polling station and I can't vote at that polling station because it's not my polling station, so I had to pre-vote, so I've done that. And then we did some shopping and then I came home and I was hanging out, catching up on some YouTube. And oh my God, like honestly, <laughs> I messaged one of my friends from Blind Channel and I was like, it's like going from dial up to DSL. The difference, I'm like amazed at how great the internet is. It's just cause it's so bad in Blind Channel this year. Anyways, um, my friend who I normally walk with and who also works in Blind Channel, he's in town on his days off and he's like, what you doing? You wanna go for a, dr a drive? So I guess we're going for a drive. So I had to find some pants, which I managed to find in my closet because I still have not even brought my totes up here to unpack. I don't even care, we're just, we're just leaving them. Um, <laughs> tomorrow, that's probably a tomorrow thing. And um, so I guess we're gonna go drive around, hopefully get some hot chocolate because I could go for a hot chocolate. And then, um, yeah, we will see. Also, I'm looking at my agenda here going, I need to get my life in order because I have so much editing to do. Now that I've got my baby back, I mean, not that I never had it, it just wasn't with me. Now I got my baby back, which is much better at editing. Um, I'm gonna get on that. I started editing something the other day and I legitimately got like five minutes into it. <laughs> I might finish that one on my laptop, we'll see. Otherwise, I'm just gonna 
switch it to here because it'll be so nice. I obviously have to do some rewiring. I still haven't got my surge bar out. It's at least in this bag up here. Um, so I need to get that out. I need to plug my computer back in. I need to plug my headphones back into my microphone and all that fun stuff. So that's, that's probably going to happen tonight, but I think also I want to pull out the agenda and get myself situated for the next week because the next week is a busy week. We got lots to do. My battery is going to die and I have no idea where my charger is or a spare battery. So that's great. Um, but yeah, I got a lot to do this week. Look, there it is. So we're going to fill this out later, but for now, I guess I'm going to shut up because my battery's going to die and finish getting ready to go. Okay, so I've very much done nothing. I went out with my friend, we got some Starbucks, we drove around, we went to a random lake, and um, now I'm back home and I've been laying in bed, and you might be able to see this piece, this cricket mat here, and like, I pulled that out, but I don't know where I'm going to put it. Like, I just... I just, I just, I just, I just I just have far too much stuff and way too many hobbies, so it's just going to sit there for now. Um, I think, what time is it? It is currently 20 after 5. I th honestly think the next step is getting the surge bar out of my bag here and getting the computer back up and running, clearing off the desk space, and then kind of going from there. I think that's the way to do it. Um, and then eventually some food. Also, like... Squanchy. <laughs> I just, there's, I just, oh, GoPro. Oh, right, the battery's dying. I remember this. Okay, and finding the charger, which I think is in a tote. Okay. Probably going to work on that off camera because this battery's going to die. Um, probably have some dinner and then reassess things. And I'm going to sleep in so hard tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. But for now, let's try to get this room semi in order. I definitely forgot how hot my room gets. It's like 24 degrees in here and it is seven o'clock at night. Anyways, we're moderately back up and running. I have a new battery in my camera, so that's exciting. And I found my charger, so it is charging. I obviously have my computer set up. This is here. I got this out. Um, I don't know where my, um, aux cable is for my headphones, which are right over there. God, this is a disaster. <sighs> which I guess is okay because I've got my Bluetooth ones I can hook up to my laptop and I can watch stuff on my laptop while I putter. I'm gonna have to change because oh, I am sweating in these sweatpants. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we can start to get things going. My plan for today is set PC up, plugged in, check, headphones, Gotta find that aux cable and then organize room. Brackets a bit. <laughs> We're not going crazy today. We are just gonna find the floor and um, relocate the bed. That's about the extent of my plans for that. So that's good. I also feel like I need to dust my keyboard because it's pretty dusty, but for now, I think I'm gonna just take my sweet time. I don't have any like things that I need need to get done tonight as far as I know um yeah I'm like thinking like, click 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 I mean obviously there are things I could do like transferring a bunch of footage and editing vlogs but that's a maybe tomorrow or a Monday thing for now slow and steady <laughs> wins the race alrighty so my bed is found except for the cricket which I'm just gonna put on my desk because I still haven't found a place for it to live it is just about 10 o'clock um, I've just been literally watching YouTube <laughs> and I, I think I tidied up a little bit over here. I got rid of all the cardboard, so I would call that a win. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not super tired, but I'm going to probably try to get to sleep here within the next a little while or at least relocate to my bed. And um, I'm wearing like um, a jammy jumpsuit right now, but I ain't going to sleep in this because peeing in the middle of the night would be so difficult but um yeah so i'm gonna go and i will see you in the next one whenever that is night <laughs>